Hello everybody. This week's camera is a bit of a departure for me. It's an 8mm movie camera. It's the Bell & Howell model 414 PD Zoomatic Director Series. That's quite a mouthful. Uh, it's a silent 8mm uh, film camera and it runs like a lot of these old ones did off of this clockwork motor has a wind indicator, you can't overwind it. And then the normal speed, 16 frames per second. Slow motion runs at 48 frames per second. At normal speed, uh, each frame is exposed for about 1 35th of a second. And if you're running at 48 frames per second, it's about 1 100th of a second per frame. It has what they call the 3 to 1 Veramat zoom. It's 9 to 27 millimeters. Like a lot of these because the back of the lens is really near the film gate. It's pretty easy to get them uh, really bright. This one is f1.8 to f22. It's a nice lens. It's 11 elements. And yes, it's that camera. This is the exact same model that Abraham Zapruder used to capture the assassination of President Kennedy. Um, maybe a little bit sick that I got it, but I am shooting with it. The camera only goes normally to ISO 40. Um, the film that I was able to get was ISO 200. And I was shooting at the Salton Sea. It's really, really bright there. I forgot to take neutral density filters. So I used my, my polarizing sunglasses over the lens, and that was good for about two stops. So um, once you get past the film, you can uh, manually set your f-stop. So shooting at about ISO 50 with the glasses in front of it, at f22, I was able to get some usable footage. I used Agfachrome 200D. It's an E6 process slide film. I got it from Spectra Film and Video in Hollywood, California. Um, sadly, they're out of it right now because I really liked shooting with it. Um, they do have some black and white film uh, that's reversal film. And they've also got some Kodak color negative film, Vision 350D. Um, you end up with negatives, but if you're scanning it in, it doesn't really matter that much. It's a pretty good deal. I had an old roll of Kodachrome that I shot just to check out the mechanism. Processed it as black and white. The negatives are so dense, they're pretty much useless. But you can see that on these old 8mm cameras, it's really 16mm film perforated on both sides. And when you get it back, the processor slits it down the middle and splices it together. And you end up with the 8mm film with the sprocket holes along one side. It's kind of a slick mechanism. This is where the take-up spool is. And it's kind of cool. It has four uh, prongs or slots on the take-up side. You feed it through here onto the take-up spool. And then when it's empty, you take the film that it's wound onto, and this one only has three of these slots, so you can't screw up and have the emulsion facing the wrong way, and you run the other half of the film. The P in the model number of the 414 PD is the power zoom. It steals some of the juice from the clockwork motor, and these buttons on top control the zoom. The D is because it has dual selenium meters in here for when you're using the automatic metering. Um, it has this setting on the lens where it, the focus is locked and then you can zoom. Push this guy in and then you can do it manually. So it's got some pretty cool features for being such an old camera. It's from somewhere between 1961 and 1963, Sears sold a tower rebranded version of this 
was in their 1962 catalog. It's a little hard to date precisely, but somewhere 61 to 63. I'm probably going to avail myself of some of the black and white film that's still available and run another spool through this guy. I'll see you then.